let's do another variation exercise, this time on a major scale. Let's hear it. Let's first see the Roman numerals for the chords. We have a lot of chords inside this piece, so you have a lot to learn until the end of this exercise. Let's make some accompaniments. Our next step is to make some melodic moves for our bass note. At the fourth bar, we will make an upward move from G to C note. Our second line is a very characteristic melodic movement for the bass and it's called descending cadence. There are two important issues that I want to give you here. It is about the movement of the bass. When we use the third of the chord for the bass, it has the tendency to make an upward movement to the next chord. When we use the seventh of the chord for the bass, it has the tendency to go downwards for the next chord. All these moves can be different if the bass is moving chromatically, moving in semitones. Let's hear our melodic bass. Let's go and make a few variations, always following the rules we said before. In this variation, you will also play the turn around the chord note move. You notice that when we add a note or more in the score, we have to alter the note values also in order to fit the rhythm of the piece. So, the more the notes we add, the more complex the values. Let's hear it. Here is another variation. In this variation, I use all three rules of the variation notes. Let's hear it. I have in the resources the mp3 file of this major scale chord progression in order for you to practice the chords and the melodies.